Yo, what's up guys? Apple just dropped the brand new iOS 18.4 update, and it's packing over 20 hidden features you definitely need to check out. So let's jump right in. All right, first up, there's a new feature in the App Store. Now, whenever you're downloading an app, you can pause and resume the download directly from the App Store itself. This is super useful, especially if you're dealing with slow internet or switching networks. Next, iOS 18.4 comes with seven brand new emojis, and they're kinda cool. We've got face with bags under eyes, fingerprint, splatter, root vegetable, leafless tree, harp, and shovel. Which one's your favorite? Drop a comment below. Moving on, Control Center got some sweet UI updates. Now, when you check your Wi-Fi or cellular signal, it shows live signal strength like real time. The more bars, the better your connection, obviously. It just feels more responsive now. Also, the volume and brightness sliders got a tiny makeover. Their colors change when you adjust them. It's subtle, but a nice visual touch. Now, this one's a game changer. There's a new toggle in Control Center called Ambient Music, and you don't need Apple Music to use it, just enable it, and you get sleep sounds, nature tracks, and more. And guess what? You can also access ambient music from the lock screen. Just replace the camera icon with the ambient sound icon and long press to start listening. Now here's a handy privacy improvement. When you take a long screenshot and crop it, you'll now see a warning message. It reminds you that the cropped content isn't permanently removed from- Don't want people seeing your search history? No worries. You can turn it off. Just go to settings, apps, and Safari. Now find recent searches and toggle it off. Easy. Now, the big news for those waiting on Apple Intelligence. It's now rolling out to more regions, and you can see the full list on screen right now. Is your country included? Let me know in the comments where you're from. I'm curious. Also, Genmoji, Apple's AI emojis, now work in third-party apps like WhatsApp, Messenger, and more. I tested it on my iPad. Looks awesome. And finally, the feature we've been waiting for since WWDC 24, priority notifications are here. These will appear at the top of your notification panel, helping you see what matters most first. To turn it on, just go to Settings, then Notifications, and Priority Notifications. Enable this toggle, and you can even choose which apps get top priority. Super helpful. And that's it for iOS 18.4. Which feature are you most hyped about? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to Tech Rushy for more awesome iPhone content.